here. We've got the Tackstar SGC 598. Here's a zero decibel gain or 10 decibel gain, and there's an on off switch. And it does have a LED light on the back. You can turn that on and off. I'm turn it off right now. And of course, it comes with a cable. You can plug it right into your uh, recorder here. Um, I just did a test uh, recording with the microphone and one without the microphone. It was for actually a commercial audition I just did. And of course, this is the uh, Sony A7R2. Looks very nice on here. Um, one problem I had that I just realized, um, of course I have it mounted to the uh, hot shoe or cold shoe mount, I forget what this is called, um, but when you're trying to use the eyepiece here, you can't, you can, you can activate the eyepiece, you can get close enough, but it's really hard to get your eyeball in there all the way to see what's going on. So I would suggest probably using one of those, um, metal uh, bar mounts and mounting the microphone to the side um, if you're going to be using your uh, eyepiece, your electric viewfinder. Um, otherwise, um, you're going to hear the difference of this microphone as compared to the internal microphones in this next little commercial piece. We're not using the uh, Techstar microphone. No more frantic mornings looking for my keys. I'm the type of person who used to lose things, but with Tao, I'm someone who finds them. It's a game changer. All right, you can drink to that, baby. No more frantic mornings looking for my keys. I used to be the kind of person who loses things, but with Tao, I'm someone who finds them. It's a game changer. Drink to that. Um, very nice microphone. Um, it does have a double a battery you can put in right here it comes nicely in and out so um spot here you got to get it in there right booyah uh very pretty nicely made it is plastic it does have a semi shock mount holder here that holds it kind of semi levitated but the uh pieces of well there are pieces of rubber that hold it in place to levitate it um that will absorb some of the shock so these pieces of rubber are not quite plastic, so it does actually absorb some of the shock. But anyways, the uh, cord comes across here. Pretty nice. I noticed if you bring it around this way, and then it plugs into the side of the Sony right here, and it makes a nice snug fit. It's not too tight. As you can see, it does have um, some flex. If you go the other way, let's see, you're going to have this thing. It's not very snug. Um, and it's going to bounce around a little bit. Build quality is definitely worth the $25. Let's see how it sounds when we watch the video. I can fly really high, higher than you. I don't think anyone can fly higher than me too. Karate, here I'll show you that I know karate. Karate! Karate! Hey, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Look at me. I can do it. Ow. I can't do it. I can get this windscreen off. There we go. This is without the windscreen. It's pretty nice. Pretty beautiful. You know what? Looks aren't everything, of course. But, yeah. I do like the way things look because if it looks like crap, who wants to use it? You know, it doesn't look that bad. It looks good for 25 bucks. All right, check out the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to Full Frame Studios Camera Reviews. Thank you very much.